everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome to my channel. Today we're making something that I am so freaking excited about. So starting about a month ago, so many people, and by so many people I literally mean three people, um, sent me this photo. And the first time it got sent to me I was already hooked. And then it got sent to me again. And then again, and I was like, okay, I'm making this. If you don't know me, um, I just, I love skulls. Skulls are my favorite piece of home decor. Um, there's literally three in this room right now. One of them is right here. It's just, it's not just like a Halloween thing for me, okay? It's a lifestyle. It's a thing. Like, it's just, I love them. They're cool, okay? Whatever. So I'm making a skeleton planter. I'm so freaking amped up. Um, it's going to be cool. So let's get into it. Here's my skeleton. I got it at Walmart. This time of year though, you can get one anywhere. So there he is. Now, a few months ago, my boyfriend got a drill, so he thinks he's the handiest man in the world and insisted on taking the limbs off the skeleton. So I let him, cause I'm nice. Um, now the head was a little difficult to get off. We had to actually end up slicing the back open a bit, but that's okay. Cause in the end, no one's gonna see it. All right, he's decapitated. I think this part's funny, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not, but here we go. Ha 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 ha. Okay, moving on. Here's the end result. Okay, so for the actual stand for the pot, um, we got a 10 foot piece of wood from Home Depot that was used for the whole thing. So handyman of the year wanted to build it, much appreciated. It's two feet tall, so we just measured that out and cut down four two feet tall legs. Oh, and there's our supervisor on duty, Billy Goat. Now for this part where the pot is actually going to be sitting on the stand, um, we just measured across the top of the pot and then kind of went from there and figured it out the lengths and everything and then we glued that together so grab your wood glue and slap it all on I'm saying we I did none of this this was all my man's so shout out to him stick that on and then grab a clamp and we let that sit and then for the actual stand itself the original plan was to screw the legs like to screw it all together but the screws weren't long enough so we ended up doing both grabbed the wood glue again and screwed it all together as well and then just slap on some more clamps and let that sit for a few hours time for my favorite part spray painting I got this chalk spray paint because I wanted it to be like a matte finish so now I'm just going in and spray painting the stand the body and the head so finishing up the spray painting I let that sit for I think about two hours total um, and there's the final product beautiful now I took these two little plants that I got from Michaels a few months ago and just hot glued them onto the rib cage. Okay, so here's the finished result of the pot and the stand. Looks amazing. Um, oh, there's Billy Goat again, sniffing everything, making sure it's up to um, standards. Okay, so I took a bunch of newspaper and kind of just crumpled it at the bottom to give it height. I then took this floral foam thing I got at the dollar store and I stuck that in as well. Next, I got these little plants also from the dollar store and I'm cutting them down to size, which yo, these were actually really hard to cut. Like being from the dollar store, I thought I was gonna need to get pliers, but it's okay, we got through it. I broke it off eventually. So I stuck that into the foam and again, just kind of placing everything and playing around with it. Um, next up, I'm taking this leaf garland thing I got from Michaels and maneuvering it in and out of the rib cage. Now finishing touches, I got this bag of moss again from the dollar store. So I just kind of picked it apart and stuck it in around the pot. And there she is. How freaking cool does that look? Beautiful, 10 out of 10, round of applause. Thank you very much. How freaking cool does that look? Like, oh, it turned out so good. I don't know, I'm sure you can see it, but it's kind of dark, I don't know. But there it is, that's its new home. That's where it's gonna live. I freaking love it. No, seriously, I think this is my favorite thing I've ever made. It's so cool. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's all I gotta say. I just gotta say that, you know what, I love it, if you didn't know. I love it. It's so freaking cool. 
So on that note, um, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!